here we have completing the square. So in order to complete the square, you will always have, um, it doesn't matter what the variable is, so it'll be some variable squared um, plus some coefficient and then plus an empty box. So normally when we write these quadratics like this, this is always referred to as B. The number in front here is A and this one is usually C. But for all of these problems where you complete the square, this has to have a one coefficient. It cannot have any other coefficient besides one. Um, so you do have to make sure that it does have a one before you try to complete the square. Um, once you have a one here and you have the variable here, they want you to figure out what C would be so that if you factored this with that particular C, you would end up with something squared, okay? And if it happens to be U squared minus, all that means is that the B itself was negative, okay? So you have to identify B. How do I figure out what number to add here? You take B over two and you square it. This is what completes the square, okay? So this is the number you add at the end of the trinomial or to make it a trinomial so that it will factor as a perfect square, okay? Now here they're not asking us to factor it. All they're asking us for is that number that would go in the blank. So all I need to do is this B over two squared to figure out what that number is. So in this case, my B value is a negative eight. So I would take negative eight over two and then square the whole thing. That is negative four squared, which is actually positive 16. So positive 16 is what I would be typing in that box. Similarly down here, the B value is positive. So I get positive 10 over two, the whole thing squared, which is positive five squared, which is a positive 25. So 25 is the number I would be typing in in that answer.